Okay, good morning. Welcome here today. Today we're going to talk about 10 things your toddler wants you to know. Number one, believe in your child. They are learning so many new things every day. They want you to see them and notice their efforts. Even if, you don't, if they don't succeed, you can give them hope that they will succeed next time. So encouragement, lots of encouragement. Number two, they need you to know you're there when they need a hug. Hugs and holding them make them feel reassured. They love being able to rely on you. And right now, you're the only place they're going for a hug. So hugs are even more important. Number three, give them all of your attention, at least some of the time. They can't possibly have your attention all the time, but when you give them attention, they feel safe and secure, and they need to know that they're important to you. More important than a phone call or a text message or not, but you still do have to make food and do the things as well. Number four, knowing they are loved will never spoil them. They might get spoiled if you can't take charge when they need you to, and if you just give in to their wants, but they'll be just fine if you stay wise and strong and take care of their needs. Number five, follow their lead when you play. They need you to create and play, and they love having you with them. They know you are excited to teach them things, but when you are playing, they will learn more by exploring. You can make sure they're safe by watching them and notice them as they learn. They are learning how to calm themselves down, but they need you to help them. When you stay with them when they are upset or not behaving well, time in instead of time out, it helps them learn how to calm down on their own. Once they're calm, you can then talk about what happened. Tantrums are, the, are them feeling overwhelmed or if they stay by them and explain to them what they need to do. Over time, they'll learn to take care of the upset to the behave and behave better. Helping them manage their feelings. They love it when you notice how they are feeling and tell them. So by using words like angry, sad, happy, afraid and surprised, it feels so good to know that you understand. Learning feeling words helps them manage their emotions and begin to understand how others feel. Remember that neither of you are perfect. You're going to make lots of mistakes and they're going to make lots of mistakes as they grow. There are no perfect kids and no perfect parents. Help them to understand limits. Part of their learning is to try to push back against you. It's not personal. If you stay bigger, stronger, wiser and kind, you can begin to understand limits and experience little bits of stress so that they'll become stronger to you. Be kind to yourself. They know you love them, but it's a good idea to take care of your own needs once in a while. By your example, they'll learn to take care of themselves when they grow up. It was nice to be with you all this morning. It will be even better to see you all in person. And we hope that that's going to happen real soon. I can stop it. I feel tearful.